Yeah, how was your experience with it was, us? It was yeah. excellent. Thank you. Yes, Thank you excellent. Much. Everybody was courteous. They took care. Uh, they were very respectful of the property and uh, the expertise was amazing. So we're very, very happy and very thankful. It's been a pleasure to do the job for you. That was great and look forward to see you in the future for the maintenance. That's all absolutely. Things, you yeah. will get the maintenance contract too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing another 26 kilowatt for the whole house. Uh, the heating system is electric uh, and they have a hot water tank. So we are going to put a module on both of them to postpone uh, hot water tank and furnace. The baseboard heaters are going to give the house, uh, give the heat to the house. And then if, um, after five minutes, the furnace is going to work. Um, Today, uh, I believe this is the 320, 30 unit that we have installed by January. But before Christmas, we are going to reach the 400 units that uh, we have already installed. Uh, we have started around 9 o'clock today. We should be finished by 2, two o'clock this afternoon. We should be done. As you can see, the propane tanks uh, have been delivered. We have a uh, good amount of distance between the propane and the generator and um, we are clear from the windows and openings. Transfer switch is uh, 200 amp because the service line was 200 amp, so we have to match it with the service line. As you can see, there is this light that has to be minimum 10 feet far from the propane, which is clear from the 10 feet. There is this outlet here that we are gonna cancel it. Uh, my colleagues are working on the generator and the transfer switch. The transfer switch is going to be outside. When there is a power failure, it's going to kick off and then uh, give the power to the whole house. So everything in the house is functional, but the modules that we are going to install in the hot water tank and the furnace are going to postpone those two items so to protect the generator from being overloaded. Um, we always put the heated, uh, heated kit a cold weather kit for the propane and the battery to keep them warm during the winter. And the generator starts easily. Um, again, at the end of the job, we will install the application on the phone of the customer so that they can monitor the generator. It's called Mobile Link. Um, yeah, that would be all for now. Yeah, we will give you more details throughout the process.
we were at the other job site doing the installation. I had a call that uh, someone had installed the Honeyball generator. Honeyball is the same as Generac, it's just the brand is Honeyball. And the installer uh, did it a couple of months ago, six months ago. And uh, they, they have a problem with the charging of the battery. It's a brand new generator, so it's not about the generator itself, most probably. It's about the installation. Uh, they passed a lot of, uh, they spent a lot of time fixing it. They were not a, able to do it. Uh, so I'm heading to their house to check it out. Uh, we were just about 10 minutes far from that customer. So while uh, the crew was doing that installation, I'm just going to check it out and come back. If the people who are doing the installation are not certified, um, Genevac technicians, they don't know which wire does what and it matters. Uh, it's really important to know what's going on in the generator. Uh, it makes the troubleshooting a lot easier. Uh, so now that I'm heading to, the, to fix this generator, I know what I'm looking for. Because we know which wire is responsible to charge the battery. So I'm going to go right to check that cable and those uh, connections. So we will see how it goes. Uh, I believe it's a quick fix, uh, but we will see. The connections are not good. I'm gonna fix it and it's gonna work properly. I just need to go to the truck, bring something, and we're gonna be. Yeah, this is a tech cable or and the other one is in a conduit but it has to go in the dirt it's not safe to leave it like this because it's 100 amp going through that cable uh, after a while dirt is gonna cover it and they're not gonna notice they might damage it so it has to be deep enough or higher than earth fixed somehow so that it doesn't get damaged yeah, so this is not the perfect way of doing this. There's nothing in there. Was he an electrician? There's, there's nothing in this one. Was he an electrician? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the worst job I have ever seen. It's not safe at all. Okay. The way they did this, this is they have power all of these guys, it's like okay. uh, I can open up to see but the whole thing is 
I'm, I'm just gonna check if the generator works. Yeah. But if, if it's up to me, we have to redo the whole thing. Okay. If you won't make it correct, this thing has to come off, that thing has to come off. Uh, to make it nice and clean. I smell gas here. Yeah, it's leaking. The valve is not good and it's leaking and it's right under the hydrometer. Okay, let's get out of here as quickly as possible. Let's lift it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> installation was not safe at all so I told the customer that he has to redo the whole connections unfortunately they had spent a couple of thousands of dollars on this and it's not safe uh, so it's up to them uh, to do the modification or else the same guy to come redo the job as I told him how to do it and that would be all so hopefully nothing happens to this house uh, so this uh, project had a couple of major faults. Uh, first of all, the trench had to be minimum 18 inch of deep depth for the gas. The gas was like two, three inches uh, in the earth. Um, the other thing was um, the way they did the kind of, so the, sorry, the second one was the location of the propane. It was leaking and it was right underneath of the hydrometer. Any spark, uh, this propane tank is gonna blow up. Uh, third one, it was the way they did. The, they had done the connections in the main panel. This is uh, not safe at all because uh, they did the connection in the main panel. They had extended it to the transfer switch, and the, the logs were all um, accessible. So any kid goes in and put her, his finger. Uh, God forbid he's gonna kill himself, um, he or she, so it wasn't safe. The whole installation was not safe. The whole thing has to be redone. Um, this is the decision of the homeowner. What we can do, we just told them this is the case. They have to redo the whole thing, yeah. Uh, sometimes the homeowners try to reduce the cost. And probably they had saved $2,000 on the whole job and they put their life and their building uh, under the risk, at risk of damage, fire and death. This is crazy, uh, nobody should do this. We are back uh, from the other quick verification that we have. We are going to check out uh, what did the guys did. What did the guys do when uh, we were away? So the generator is connected. Yeah, transfer switch is mounted. And they are doing the module inside. And uh, so it's almost 12 we're pretty good we're on time we will do the test we will install the uh, app on the phone of the customer we'll show them uh, how it works answer their questions and we're good to go uh, our gas technician is going to show up later this week to do the connection and uh, it will be all set they're ready for the winter uh, the good thing about this uh, customer was that they were uh, prepared to do the job before the winter it's always easier to do the job when the weather is pretty good nice and uh, not cold not hot uh, during those freezing rains and uh, storms it's tough to 
do the job and it's pretty late. I mean, we have to be prepared for the winter. It was nice timing. And we have uh, more, we have about 10 more installations in the, this week, next week. So we have uh, plenty of more information to share. Uh, that would be it. And so if you remember in the in co couple of minutes ago, when I was mentioning the warmers for the oil and the battery, these are the ones that I was mentioning. This is warmer for the oil. This one is for the battery underneath to keep the battery and oil warm winter time. So it works easily. If you compare visually, you will see how the wires are fixed and how the transfer switch is mounted. Um, it's different, as you can tell. The connectors are not under pressure. The wires are not under pressure. Uh, it's nice and clean. Top compartment is isolated from the bottom. If you remember it on the other one, in the other one case, it was not. The wires were coming like this. And uh, this is against the code. Um, so this is the way it has to be installed. Um, to be safe and secure. Of course, the other one was working, but I mean, uh, this is not what the code says. We always have to follow the codes to be safe, and uh, if anything happens, we are responsible. We are going to do the tests in about 30 minutes. We will cut the power, give the power to the house with the generator, and then we will show, you, show the customer how it works. So oh, that's one is for you. Thank you. You're welcome, Thank you very You're much. Welcome, Thank, you. Sir, my Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and this one. This is the key uh, for the generator. Okay. So we put it in this. Oh, that's nice. Thank uh, leather. You. Very classy. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. First class. Thank you very much. Thank you. So here, the generator has to. Be the line so that's fine. 